them in a day in May. Hey everyone, I'm doing another car video today, and today I thought I'd talk about nitrogen as it relates to star stuff. I've done a ton of research this week on elements as they relate to the stars, and that is one of the most fun things about doing this, is I get to do a bunch of research and discover things that I might not have known before, or it's a really good refresher class. So I have been exploring and learning new things to try to share with you, and I wanted to talk today about something called the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen cycle. The take-home for Star Stuff Week is that most elements are created inside of stars. Now there's a lot of processes by which this happens, but it all begins with the nuclear fusion of hydrogen. I know I've talked about this a couple times this week, but how does that fusion actually happen? I won't go into too much detail on this because these videos are short, but there are two main processes for hydrogen fusion, and that is proton proton chain reaction and carbon nitrogen oxygen cycle. The first one, proton proton chain reaction, also includes deuterium fusion. And deuterium, if you haven't heard of it, it's not actually an element. I mean, it is an element, but it's not on the periodic table by itself because it's actually an isotope of hydrogen. An isotope is just a variation of an element and it has the same number of protons, but mostly just different numbers of neutrons. So basically, hydrogen has uh, one proton, no neutrons, and deuterium has one proton, but it also has one neutron. Um, but I think I'm digressing. Our sun and our solar system mostly uses the proton-proton chain reaction, and about 10% of nuclear fusion is with the CNO cycle, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, but I'm just gonna call it CNO cycle. Ah. Stars that are bigger, so stars that are about one and a half times the size of our own sun, uh, they use the CNO cycle more often, and that is, uh, from what I read, because of higher temperatures and also because they tend to burn up the smaller elements faster. The CNO cycle is a catalytic cycle, which means that it uses catalysts in a multi-step process, and catalysts are basically just something that makes something else happen, or something that helps make something else happen. And so for the CNO cycle, carbon, nitrogen, Nitrogen and oxygen are the catalysts for the nuclear fusion or the nuclear synthesis of new elements. Again, simply put, this just means that the elements are going through a process to help hydrogen atoms fuse together to make helium atoms. As a refresher, atoms or elements are defined by the number of protons in their nucleus, and so we have one proton in a hydrogen, one proton in another hydrogen, and when we fuse them together, we basically have a new nucleus that has two protons in it now, and atomic number two is helium, so we make helium. Well, that is it for this video. Happy Friday, everyone, and thank you for going through this science journey with me. Whether you watch these videos to learn something new, watch them for a little science refresher, or watch them just because you support me. I really appreciate it either way, and I hope you guys have a really great Memorial Day weekend. Subscribe for science, and uh, bye!